right now my hair is completely just kind of air drying right now. I just got out of the shower and I washed and conditioned, shampooed and conditioned my hair. And I'm going to show you guys my new all-time favorite shampoo and conditioner. Right now I'm using Moroccan oil, the hydrating conditioner and hydrating shampoo. It seriously smells amazing. Oh my gosh. I like when I eat my hair. It smells so good. Um, but seriously, this stuff is awesome and it feels like my hair is getting clean. So that's, I really, really like that. Um, I feel like I do kind of have to use a little bit more than I would like. Um, I do have a lot of hair, but yeah, I just, I love this stuff. It's seriously amazing. And then right now it's kind of just been like air drying out. I, it's still pretty wet. So I'm going to be blow drying it out and I'm going to show you guys in quick style how, how I blow dry my hair out. But first I'm going to prep my hair before I put heat on it. Um, I'm going to go in and I'm going to put in some Moroccan oil, um, which this stuff is also amazing. Seriously, Moroccan oil product smells so good. So I'm going to put a teeny tiny bit on, like that's probably even too much, but I have a lot of hair. So that's about how much I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to rub it together and I'm going to just um, add this on to the mid shaft to the ends of my hair. Put really a lot of power into this. Make sure you're getting all over the hair follicle, in between, I'm really pulling hard. So really you don't want to put anything up here because you don't want your roots or you know your scalp to look even more greasier than they probably become after two days. So I just like to keep it from the uh, mid-shaft to the ends. Then the next thing is, you guys should know by now this is my all-time favorite product. Moroccan oil is really close though, but Onesta, um, this stuff is my smooth and shine. Smells awesome, but really what this is, it's going to help frizz control. It's going to help kind of create um, some heat protect in there. And I'm going to just put in this also, kind of just feather through it with my fingers, all the way through my ends to a little bit on the top, honestly. This stuff's not going to make it look greasy. So really all I'm doing, why I'm doing all this is because I'm prepping my hair before I blow dry. And then once I blow dry, then my hair will have a heat protectant and will have shine. And I know that my hair is being protected before heat. So really, that's how I've get, gotten really good hair, I guess you can say. And then the second thing is I'm going to put a little bit of Big and Sexy Root Pump on here. Um, I don't love a ton because I don't like the filmy filling that my hair feels. So I'm going to just put a little bit right under here. You just spray it like that, kind of a moussey look, and then I'm going to kind of rub that in, like that. Other side, kind of rub it in just like this, and then I'll put a little bit on the back. You don't have to be perfect at it, you can just kind of be messy with it. So really, I'll just all around kind of my... Um, my crown area is where I kind of like to put all that stuff. I don't need to go underneath at all because my hair is heavy. It's going to lay down anyway. So that is what I use to prep my hair before I blow dry. Now I'm going to blow dry. Here's the coolest tip ever. Based off of not having breakage, you do not want to put a brush to your hair when it's wet. Right now it's like, oh my gosh, I have all these snarls. What am I going to do? Like, I need to put a brush through it. Well, you know what? If you put a brush through it while it's wet, it's going to stretch your hair and it's going to create breakage and it's going to kind of create more damage. So I'm going to blow dry my hair and I just go kind of crazy, blow dry everything opposite, forward. So if I want, you know, volume, I'll take this side and I'll go this way. And I want this side, I'll go this way and then I'll go all the way forward. So the reason why I do that is because I get, you know, more of a natural volume, but I'm going to blow dry really quick. You guys are going to see a quick style of me doing that, but I really want you guys to know, do not brush your hair while it's wet. If it's, if it's about 70% dry, then that's when you can go through and put a brush through it. I use the Baby Blitz Pro, um, the Baby Blitz Pro TT blow dryer. Seriously, it's such, it's so lightweight and it works like gold. So I love it. Here I go.
is about, I would say more than 70% dry. I would say about 80% dry. So now I'm going to go through, I'm going to smooth out my hair cuticle with a brush and I'm going to put it on, I'm going to switch my heat to um, the warm. So I'll take it to warm instead of hot. And then at the very, very end, after I feel like it's all dry, I will cool down my hair cuticle with the cool and the cool settings on my blow dryer because I don't want to now go put from heat to heat from the straightener on my hair. So you always want to take advantage of that cool setting on your blow dryer because that will cool down your hair cuticle. So Okay, so that's how I blow dry my hair quick style, and um, I kind of just kind of really go messy with it. I don't round brush my hair because I have heavy hair, and it's not even going to do anything for me because my hair is so heavy that it will just kind of fall down the volume anyway. So that's a waste of my time. Faster you go, that's why when I come from the only thing we know is...